this stuff almost writes itself, man. Like, this is, I, I can't make this stuff up, I'm telling you, all right? <laughs> you know, uh, I was out with a uh, Bradford Beeper and, and uh, Redbeard, uh, was it last year, and he found a crack pipe in the field. This one's going to take the cake. This one is going to take the cake. <laughs> That. All right, hey everybody, Pop Can Dan. It is a doom and gloom day here. Look at it. Oh, it is just gross, man. It's drizzling. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna last in this field. We'll see. As you can see, also it's starting to grow, and that's that's the tough part here. Uh, this is my permission, but the problem is I don't know when they're gonna cut this thing. They may not even cut it. So I only I get well the getting's good here. So <laughs> I don't know when it starts to grow. We're done, man. Maybe unless they come and cut it. So, anyways. Let's, uh, oh, mosquitoes, man. The mosquitoes are finally out, too. That's not good. I'm going to have to run around, outrun them in the field. Uh, let's see what we get, man. Let's get something good. It's one of those mornings that's really creepy. Kind of looks like you're going to come across a body. Anybody ever come across a body? I haven't, thank goodness. But uh, it's one of my fears, eh? You know, you're detecting somewhere in the woods, and there's a dead dude on the ground. You know? Tell me, you guys ever get that fear, man? I don't know. Sometimes I, I think about it a lot for some reason. I don't know why. Um, anyway, enough of dead bodies. Let's get going. Bah! All right. Um, <laughs> mosquitoes. You know the mosquitoes, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're there, but they're not. They're too young to bite yet, but they're still buzzing around you. So give it another week or so, and these suckers will be on me like, what are they, hey, white on rice? I don't know. Anyways. Um, I haven't found any bodies yet. That's a good thing. But I did find this. This is really interesting. 13, 14 on the knocks, two inches below the surface, just rocking back and forth. Beautiful. Ding, 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 ding. That old uh, repeated, repeated signal uh, pinball machine, as I like to call it. I like to use these funny terms. Uh, just weird stuff. Anyways, check this out. It's all. Pick this up here. I'm not sure what this is. Very intricate, weird. I thought when I first dug it, it was a it was a, a horse bit, but that's not what it is, man. I don't know. Some, uh, as Redbeard would call it, a thingamajigger, do wacky, call it something or other. But there it is. Interesting find. Strange but interesting. All right, I am way down at the very back. When I say the very back, you can see the wire fence right here. The back of the uh, permission of the property. And, um, yeah, got a, got a slamming hit here, man. It was a uh, 30-31, uh, three inches down. <clears throat> there it is. Just round. I don't know what it is. It, it seems, first I thought it was a pocket watch. Eh? When I, when I, I thought it was a small pocket watch, but no, I, I don't know. It's just some kind of rim or gasket or something. But anyways, good signal nonetheless. All right, man, we are finally on to something pretty cool. This is a nice period piece. Um, 18, I don't know the date, the actual date. All it says is 1877 on my map. So you never know how old it is before that. Uh, maybe by finding coins or certain things, you can determine that. But I got a nice little cool piece here. Check this out. Yeah, look at this right there. It was screaming to me too. Lantern Turner. Or sorry, the, the base of a lantern. That's where the wick would, wick would come out. That's the part that you started the turn, but the knob is actually gone. But hey, that's a nice little period find right there. That's what we're looking for, man. Old stuff, like me. Old stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow, this was a slamming hit, man. Uh, almost eight inches. Uh, and it was in the 30s, like 30, 30 31. That's crazy. Um, I think, unless this is a raid ant trap house i think i got a ladies compact here and it's got a really neat color to it too have a look here yeah check this out look at this and underneath it's got like a red i don't know let me clean this let's get back to you here all right definitely not a ladies compact i don't know what that is that is bizarre man 
I'm gonna file that under B. Bizarre. If anybody knows, please comment. Let me know, this is strange. All right, folks, you know me, you know I'm always one about humor. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm telling you. Hey, how's the hair? Uh. <laughs> I, uh, this stuff almost writes itself, man. Like, this is, I, I can't make this stuff up. I'm telling you, all right? <laughs> you know, uh, I was out with a uh, Bradford Beeper and, and, uh, Redbeard, uh, was it last year? And he found a crack pipe in the field. This one's gonna take the cake. This one is gonna take the cake. <laughs> If you look closely, it's a bottle of uh, Astroglide. Um, I'm not going to get in. You know, kids watch this channel, so I'm not going to get much into it. But the whole time, I, I, when I saw this on the ground, I, just before, this is not a lie either. I was humming a song as I was uh, <laughs> as I was detecting. It. it was from Simon and Garfunkel, and it was slip sliding away. <laughs> Slip sliding away You know the near your destination the more you slip sliding away. I'm telling you man Can't make this stuff up brother <laughs> All right folks, it's really coming down now the rain. Uh, you know what I didn't get lucky today But somebody did <laughs> Anyway, yeah, hey that wasn't my best one. My best find was that lantern base piece uh, a lot of odds and ends, but you know what? Just being out here, man, even in the pouring rain, who cares? Good time. All right, everybody take care.